and we agreed under the guidance of the president that the way to go is to subsidize production. In any case, those subsidies were not working and it was theft. The Auditor General has issued a report that 34 billion shillings for the fuel subsidy cannot be traced. It was about theft. About the subsidy of UNGA, the one we were told that is 100 shillings, nobody found that UNGA anywhere. 8 billion shillings was spent at the National Treasury, and the millers are still asking for their money. All that money was stolen and diverted to the Azimio campaign. We are not going to go that way. Even if they go to the streets, even if they put sufriyas on the head, we are not going to reinstate uh, subsidy because it is foolish and it's not sustainable. The way to fix the cost of living is subsidizing production, putting money where it matters, in terms of fertilizer, in terms of seeds, in terms of other encouraging measures to allow our people to produce more at a less cost. And I can tell you the economy has started showing good signs of recovery. As we speak today, when we came in, the cost of UNGA was 230 shillings. We have progressively, through good thinking and planning, without any subsidy, brought the cost down to 190, to 180, to 170, to 160. As we talk today, on the shelf, there are many supermarkets offering UNGA at 159 shillings, up to 155. And I can tell you it will continue going down, awaiting the harvest in September. And after the harvest, because of the intervention that we have done to assist our farmers with subsidized fertilizer, we intend and we believe we'll be able to bring down the cost of Wunga to about 130, about 120. And that is what is sustainable.